Four Oakland students returned to the classroom this morning. The teachers union and district working together on an agreement that would see kids return back to the classroom full time in the fall. Crown 4's Noelle Bello breaks down the details. Today is a big day. Um, having students come in, it's been a long time, and um, really just having our students be able to socialize with each other. A little more than 100 students descended upon Montera Middle School in Oakland Monday morning as hybrid in-person instruction began. For many, it was their first time they'd ever been on campus. This is their first time in, in Montera, so they say it's a really good school, mm -hmm. and, and the teachers are already great. Back on March 30th, several campuses throughout Oakland Unified reopened for partial in-person learning. And Monday, the district expanded that instruction, welcoming back thousands more elementary and middle school students to campus. Grandparents like Sylvia Wilson dropped off their young ones with excitement. And they are so looking forward to this. It's been crazy. The process of getting students back on track and into the classroom has taken months of negotiation between the Oakland Education Association and Oakland Unified School District. On Monday, the two groups released a joint statement announcing their tentative agreement to return to the classroom full time August 9th. They said in part, quote, while we do not always agree on the details, both OEA and OUSD are passionate about serving Oakland students and families, end quote. They went on to thank families for their patience and support as they navigated uncharted territory. Hopefully they can get back on track and everything will go swell. I know it will. A tentative academic calendar for the fall was also released Monday, but there are still some steps to take before it's all set in stone there in Oakland. The teachers union will need to ratify the agreement and the school board has to approve it. In the newsroom, Noel Bello, Cron 4 News.